I just found you with your hand in the celebrations. Those are very empty wrappers. <laughs> These are the empty wrappers that I found in here. Are they? Who's been putting empty wrappers back into the big <laughs> <the bowl? laughs> I wonder, Mr. Weir. Because I haven't had any. No, no. Oh, grab Anne Lil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Testing for the microphone, the microphone, the microphone. Testing for the microphone to see if it is working. It's working. What a lovely song. When the dog's nose is right behind your foot. Yep. Hello. What's this? Whisper. Quiet, wasn't it? Whisper with Julie. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Yours is creepy. That does sound creepy, doesn't it? <laughs> that's that's, that's the sort of, sort of thing you don't want to hear in an alleyway on a dark night. Hello. Anyway. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. Two weeks late, but still we're here. We're so not two weeks late. We are two weeks late. We didn't do a video last week. Should have been uh, yesterday, no, Friday. So You're in trouble. Big trouble. I'm always in trouble. We had a lovely week, though, this week, didn't we? We did. Um, it was fabulous. You tell them why. We had Lisa and Glenn come down from A Life Full of Meaning. So if you haven't watched their YouTube channel, make sure you do. Link in the description below. And we went uh, around Windsor. Yeah, we went to Windsor. We thought it would be nice to do a touristy thing. Um, there was plenty of moorings. It was pretty empty to be honest with you. But we thought we'd go and have a look at the um, the castle and just to soak up some of the... That sounds awful, doesn't it? Soak up some of the post-funeral atmosphere. The atmosphere, yeah, that's probably not right. No, nah, that's it? not right. But anyway, you know what we mean. We knew it was going to be really busy um, when the funeral was going on, so we decided not to go then um, and to go, obviously, a week later. Yeah. Um, we just thought it would be quite nice to meet Lisa and Glenn there and just basically do the touristy thing. Yeah, so, so that was really lovely, really nice to have a good catch up with yeah. them. Yeah, and don't let anyone fool you when you think that Glenn's the quiet one. He is not quiet. <laughs> to be fair, he was um, he was a breath of fresh air, actually. I, I was expecting him to be really quiet, and he's not quiet in the slightest. He can chat for England and Wales and Scotland. It was really lovely. And Northern really Ireland. Really lovely. It was lovely. Really nice to catch up. Um, so we've done that. Um, I've been, I've had some uh, some paintings in a gallery. That one's now finished, and now I'm in another gallery in Corsham. Yeah. So, so lots of travelling backwards and forwards. Lo lots of lots of miles putting in. Um, sold a few pieces, haven't you? Sold a few pieces. Hopefully, one's going to sell this weekend. Yeah. Um, they've been asked to take it off of sale, so hopefully that that will happen. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Oh, and I've been painting a squirrel this week. We'll Red show you that. Yeah, ready for um, the book yeah, that the we book, are doing. The book that we're doing. It, it, <clears throat> you're hopeful of... I'm still hopeful I'm going to get it done before Christmas, but Mark thinks maybe not, maybe no. just after. Having written three books and knowing what, what goes into producing the books and obviously the editing process, um, it's you're looking probably at another four to six months you think i think so i think you'd be hard pressed to get it out for christmas but we will see we'll see we will see um so yes doing another illustration for the book that we're we're doing together i'm doing the illustrations mark's doing the the writing the poetry for it so yeah hopefully that will be a, a new venture a new new uh yeah new thing to do next year a new coffee table book uh, yeah absolutely yes so nearly there on that one so I've just arrived here in Corsham in Wiltshire. Um, took about an hour and 45 minutes from where we are. And I'm going to be taking over the Corsham Gallery window this morning. So uh, for two weeks. So let's go and see what I need to do. I've 
Got my paintings in the trolley and off we go. Good morning. Here we are, leaving Cookham and heading towards Windsor. We're going to meet some special friends there tomorrow, hopefully. All being well, and we'll take you on a little trip. So, we're just filling up with water. We are, um, we've emptied the toilets and we've done the rubbish and we're, um, when we're full, we're gonna go through the next lock. I think we've got three locks today. Hopefully we can get moored at Windsor. We might um, go on a little sightseeing tour and see if we can have a look at the, uh, the flowers that might still be there. But uh, anyway, let's get filled up with water first. Mark is off taking the uh, toilet to the l -San. He has to go all this way to a building over there. And it is heavy. We are filling up with water. And I'm just about to do the rubbish. Could be about an hour to fill up, I think. So this does take a little bit of your time uh, when you are thinking about cruising. But, uh, at least we get them jobs done and then we can be on our way. So here's the bins, we've got some recycling, so that's brilliant. And this looks interesting. Okay, a find from the rubbish dump. Some old shelving, but I'm thinking if I paint this, Put it on the reef. I could put some plants in it. Chili update, you know I love to give you a chili update. Look at the size of these. And they're starting to turn a colour.
Okay, so we're at Bolter's Lock, and for the first time, I think, in our entire Thames experience, we have a lock keeper on. So this should be fun, because the last time we went through this lock, uh, Julie had to operate it. We were surrounded by cruisers, um, and um, I was holding the rope, uh, the lines on my own, uh, which was interesting, and the nose got stuck under the front of the, the lock gate. Uh, so having a lock keeper on is a luxury. Studios. They've done it all up because they they are now flats. But this is where the Hammer House of Horror films were all made. one more lock after the last lock that I thought was the last lock. We are now heading towards Windsor. We'll start to see a little bit more of the um, pleasure boats, the little tiny cruisers and um, the little tiny um, power boats, uh, sort of day hire ones. And then the massive great big boats that are doing private um, tours as well. So it's going to be busy at Windsor. I'm hoping we can get moored, but we'll have to see. Uh, 
And here we are, moored not far from Windsor Castle. And if you can, I'll just zoom in, you'll see the castle and the planes that come up straight above it. We've got a nice moor in here on the island, but there is a bridge that goes to the other side. I can see an ice cream shop. I think we're going to have to go over there. Note to self, in autumn, do not moor underneath a conker tree. All night, bombs hit the roof. <laughs> The culprits. I wonder if I should leave them on there to stop the spiders. We're just here on Bath Island at Windsor and we're just waiting for our friends to come along, Lisa and Glenn, who also have a YouTube channel called A Life Full of Meaning. So we're going to see them and take them on a little tour of, well, around Windsor. That was a mouthful. And then hopefully if we've got time, a little cruise as well. Look who Mark has found. <laughs> you put them on the spot. Interrogate them, Mark. I'm not saying a word. I'm just going to film them. <laughs> just just like film. That's all right. Glenn's used to that. <laughs> 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 Turn the camera. Then, then say something. <laughs> They were just for the funeral. So this is the long walk, it's three miles long and it goes from Windsor Castle down to the Copper Horse, which is a statue down at the other end. We're not going to walk the three miles down to the statue, but we are going to walk a little way up to the castle. Ripple. Eat and mess, Mark. Eat and mess. Do you have an eat and mess, I am? Oh. Or clotted cream and raspberry ripple. Mm. What else is there? Chocolate. Lemon curd. Rocky Road. Cornish has got to be the best ice cream.
This is a view from our moor in this evening. Windsor Castle lit up in the background. A little bit of a stormy sky behind. It's looking really magical this evening. And you see how low the aeroplanes get to the castle. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Don't forget to subscribe, it's free to do so. And when you subscribe, don't forget to click the bell icon located somewhere in the sphere of this screen. And don't forget to leave your comments. We love to hear them and Mark will answer every single one. Except the horrible ones, which we delete. And uh, once again, it's uh, for us to say thank you for watching. Yes, and thank you. Um, we really appreciate all your support. Yes, and we will see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Oh, just a quick one. Sorry, just to oh, jump okay. in. Um, we're doing Zoom calls for our patrons. So if anybody wants to be involved in a Zoom call, just look up We're On The Move on Patreon. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to do any of that. But we're doing Zoom calls with our uh, international patron community, aren't we? Yeah. We're going to do them once a month. So if yes. you want to be involved in a Zoom call, go check out our patron page. And we'll see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.